area I know now, when I do well. News they reach our ear, but we don't know how true because some people, eh, they don't feel. Because they don't feel, they don't want to drag people follow body, make all of them feel together. This man can't open his mouth, say, Obi and Dati, they're not they play. Say that he not like Obi one beat. He not like can 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 can. Say whether we don't see that for court of recent. So all the time when they take go tribunal, whether we see that for day. Mm. And people, me no know how true this one be. We know say some people eh, it's better thing they come. They want me that they confuse your brain, especially when they not say you the pool crowd. They go want make they come to spoil your name. Not see when this man not talk about Obi. Not see where oh, oh, this man not talking about Obi. Say Obi no opportunist. Say he a P. Say Obi no win. Say I do say Obi win. Say Nigeria for doing win. Say if for do all. Say Obi no pretender. Ah ah. This is shock me. Oh. You go you wake up. Begin the cost person. Person will not cost you. You begin to talk your mouth. For person will not cost you. You begin to talk. Oh. Say eh, he knows the Labour Party has been. For over 20 years, say eh, there has never been any presidential candidates where they bring come out for that party. But this is the first time where they bring person come out, and which is Obi. Say Obi not use the opportunity well. Otherwise, if I become president, say because he's greedy, stingy, that is why he not feel winner. Say they not vote for him. Eh? Hey, some people they lie, Sha. What he can shock me when he talk. He said that Tinubu is the sponsor Labour Party. See, that is why when Tinubu can stop the sponsorship, now Obi can run, go diaspora, go to beg people, make they can sponsor Labour Party. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People, they talk sharp. May not be like, say, you they talk through a well, make you now watch the video. The body language of this man, eh, I look and say, look like, best baby say, Something not favor him, so he want just come come out, come talk. Now the category of the upper palamidi. Let me call those people to be because before now we didn't hear your voice, guy. Why you come be saying that now? We be saying everything don't they show up? Then you want to show up your voice? Why all those things are coming out? We only see people talking against APC or Tinubu like, mm, like really like negatively. Apart from say maybe this election thing where they do, we be saying the highest bidder <laughs> pay I next chairman. But apart from that, why are people bent on just destroying Obi's name for nothing? Begin a talk rubbish. Me not bless now. Let me want to hear this thing. We could not listen. Say because now Tinubu now they sponsor Labour Party. We could not hear. <laughs> All the by God of this world is Peter Obi because it's not somebody that should be trusted with the leadership of this country. Glory be to God Almighty that did not allow him to win the election. If it had won, Nigeria would be in serious, you know, a problem because of his attitude. The way he treated you, is that the same way he treated all governorship candidates of the party in other states? Did you bother to find out if that was the same way he treated other uh, uh, governorship candidates? What I observed is this. I may be wrong. 12 of us contested for that election. 12. As in uh, 12 party, governorship, governorship candidate. candidate. 12. 12 states. In the whole country. You know, some states did not go into contest at that yeah. time. Yeah. But 12 of us, I was the only one who happened to be a Muslim. But I observed that during the electionary campaign, the candidate of Shokoto governorship election, uh, gov uh, gov governorship, gov candidate. governorship candidate, they came to APC. Because when they went for campaign, he did not introduce him. He didn't make him relevant at all. This told to Taraba governorship candidate. And the deputy. Dido to Kano. They were also a Muslim. Yes. So they have decamped even before the election. 
because of the attitude of Peter will be towards them. So I am happy that I did not win. Not because of anything. Because that kind of man should not be given the responsibility of the, a very, very serious leadership of this country. That's a country that is not a, a religious country, a country that is not a, a country of a tribe. You it's mean, a, you, it's, mean, you mean he is religious uh, intolerance? That is the way I was thinking he is. But it was confirmed with the leaked video. Conversation. Audio conversation, sorry. Exactly. I didn't be I did not tell the world about his attitude before that linked audio conversation. People have said I only linked it to the audio because I did not tell the world. It was two days before I told the world about his attitude that this leaked audio came out. And then observed also throughout his electionary campaign. He did not go to any mosque to campaign, nor any Muslim gathering to campaign. So these are the things that I put together that this one is not tolerant at all. So as a matter of fact... Despite the fact that he's a vice president, his, his vice is a Muslim, Ahmed Dati. Yes. How, how did he cope with Ahmed Dati being a Muslim? I, I, it's between the two of them. You can ask Ahmed Dati if you see him, because he may be seeing them together. They may have, he may have, he may, he may have one or two things to say about him too. Don't you observe that he has never come to the uh, tribunal since? Yes, Ahmed Dati. Don't you observe that? Don't have you seen Ahmed Ahmed Dati in the no. in the, in the court since? No. So you don't know what is going on, because. As far as I'm concerned, people around him, all the people around him, they are Christians. They are all Christians. They are all Christians. So, this is a man that's supposed to be father of all. It's too sentimental. You realize that the last time, after the election, he went to uh, the Hausa uh, community to do the salah with them. That was campaign after election. That was campaign after election. So, I only thank God that I did not become the president of this country. Okay. Now, in one of your interview of recent, you allege that um, during the um, um, primary of um, uh, of Labour Party presidential primary that. Um, Peter, uh, Pati Tomi stepped down for um, Peter Obi, but that Pati Tomi was compelled to step down for Peter Obi. Can you explain what happened around that uh, incident? I'm not, I'm not a member of that party again. Okay. Uh, well, 72 hours ago, I ceased to be the, the member of that party. Okay. It's a hopeless party. Okay. A okay. party can, can that does not have direction is see it's a party that we think will come to rescue the country. the country but unfortunately all the hills of two major political parties they have more than that in the Labour party because of my experience with them they cannot tell me anything whatever they tell the people is different from what i know about them do you understand? So can you tell me? Can you tell us about uh, that, that Peter uh, Pati Tomi and Peter Obi? This is what happened. Okay. Pati Tomi was the champion of the third party, and he was actually he was the uh, candidate for the third party. The Labour party. The third party. So the third party now. The Labour Party and Tory Party now come together. So it was Asaba, they now said, Party Tomi should step down for uh, 
Peter Obi. And that was how Peter Obi got the, uh, the, ticket. the ticket. But you see, some things do happen under the, <laughs> under the grant. What are those things? Everybody knows that Pat Tommy is a political uh, follower of President Bola Ahmed Tinobu. Everybody knows that. If you could recall, recently, an official committee was, you know, going viral, economic uh, team. You can see he was the one that uh, led the team. That shows how much Tinubu has confidence in him, Pat Tommy. So it was Pat Tommy that was getting funds for the movement. The obedience movement. The campaign of uh, Peter Obi. But Pat Tommy is getting money from Tinubu. They were very happy because if Peter Obi is in PDP, it will have been extremely difficult for Tinubu to be president today. So when Tinubu now realized that the uh, uh, Peter Obi is in the uh, Labour Party, he, now, he started giving money to Party Tomi. Uh, Peter Obi started spending money for uh, for his ambition. So, at a point in time, when it was not an easy thing again for the APC because Peter Obi started getting momentum. momentum, and they now to go, ah, this is not a, a thing we should be looking at. So. Politically, because uh, Tinobu is a master in this game. He's a master. I don't know if he has uh, uh, anybody who is equal to him for now in Nigeria. He's a master. Give it to him, whether you like him or not. And he's a strategist. So they strategize and they ensure that Okay, we're going to cut the hands, and at a particular time, the phone stopped. And that's why he forced out. Remember, he went abroad to look for funds. You remember? Yes. <laughs> so at that, that time, Dinubu has stopped sending it to Party Tomi. And they went abroad. Even, even up to now, we don't know how they spend that money that was supposed to, you know, be meant for the party. The money they collected from abroad. Was Peter Obi aware that the source of fund that uh, Party Tommy was giving to him was using to sponsor the party and the listen? Was he aware that it was coming from? You can get his phone number here and ask him. If he's aware, he will tell you. But there are some things you will do that you may not be aware and you'll be doing it. That's the bitter truth. Yes, it may be used. You may not know you are being used. So, but that is what happened. At a point when there is no fund with Spad in Tommy, there is no fund with Peter Obitu. So that was why he went abroad to look for fund through donation. So in essence, you cannot, you know, run away from the strategy of uh, Bola Ahmed Tinobu is endowed. You don't know what they didn't want to register NNPP of Kwan Kwaso. Yeah. It was this man that said, allow him to be registered so that this will further give him opportunity again to rise. And clip the wing of Atiba. Exactly. A clear the wing of you know, no, the PDP because it will have remained in the PDP. Or, so he now formed his, uh, his uh, NNPP. So that is how Tinubu is 
getting higher, higher every day. Now, coming back to the legal part, no, there's faction in the party, and a house divided it against itself cannot hold. What is the future of the party? Let me tell this to you. The party has been existing for 22 years. And I now realize why they were unable to be at the mainstream of politics. politics. Could you believe this is the first time a presidential candidate of that party is contesting? In the past, the presidential candidate always stepped down for another party candidate. But God gave them the opportunity, but they misused it, they mismanaged it. Peter B has been in Nigeria for so long a time. It isn't that Peter B is a messiah or somebody that will solve the problems of this country. No. The youths who are major backers of Peter B found in P2B as the option they could follow. You know, they were in bitter with Ashwaju Ahmed Tinubu because of answers. And based on his comments, up to today, Tinubu has never apologized to Nigerian youth over answers uh, scenario. So it was this they transferred because they knew quite all right that Tinubu had better chance to be the president of Nigeria. But because of that singular hack, they said they will show him. Knowing fully that they don't want Atiku has been contesting, recontesting, recontesting, they don't even like him. So they only found in Peter B as alternative. It's not because Peter B is, is the Messiah or the Peter B is good or better than anybody. No. In politics, if I'm your friend, maybe because you are also an enemy to my enemy. enemy. To an enemy to enemy is my friend. It's my friend. So that is, it's not because I like you. Do you understand? So uh, Peter B should not think Nigerian youth likes him. No. No. It's because they don't see any other person any other alternative. alternative than him. He has been in the country for long now. He's not a new person in the country. After all, even when we go deep and deep to his antecedent when he was governor, he's not worthy to be called a leader, especially in the area that I cherish so much. I cherish local government administration. So, so much. Because that's exactly where government starts. And that is where government ends. Because government is the closest to the grassroots. Local government is the closest to the grassroots. So that's why I cherish it. I, I, I am a product of local government. But I got to know that it took him like seven years before he conducted local government election for his two... Almost to the end of his tenure. For the end of his tenure. So, what can he deliver? Uh, you are not on a good book of Italy. That is why you are saying all this thing about Italy. You can't rule it out. I'm embittered. But being embittered does not mean I should tell lies against this person. To the God, the owner of my soul, I'm saying the truth that I know about him. The truth that I know about him. You know, they did not make us to assess him. We don't even know him. He just came to the party within a few days and he just got the party ticket. So we didn't know him. We didn't have time to assess him. We didn't have time to relate with him. You know, some people, you may be seeing them outside as good people. When you have cause to have close range relationship with them, like 
prophet priest said, if you want to talk about somebody, make sure you be with that person for at least a day. See him when he's eating. See him when he's talking. See him when he's angry. See him when he's happy. Then you can talk about that person a little. But somebody you are seeing from inside television, seeing him here and there, you don't have close range. You cannot speak so much about him. I have this kind of relationship with him. I share some things with him. So I realize the kind of person he is. And I'm saying this with all sense of sincerity of purpose. Not because I'm maligning him or you know, blackmailing him. No. The ODTV board. In case the first time you come here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more uploads.